Today we are going to be talking about a few select Stellar Crown cards that actually have a direct tie back to Twilight Masquerade, and we're going to use some examples, and I think that these cards could potentially go kind of crazy, and we're going to talk about why right now. So first off, Twilight Masquerade, if you guys aren't familiar, uh, has been performing really well. There's a few cards that, uh, there's one card in particular that we want to touch on that. It's on the screen right now. We'll get to it in a second. And it's very important because there are some similar cards from the upcoming Stellar Crown that I think could potentially do the same thing. And it's going to be crazy depending on pull rates. But let's just jump into it and we're going to talk about what exactly all of this means. And it's the Eevee card. Now, uh, I, I'm always transparent and I'll be the first to admit, and I've said it you know, many other videos if you guys uh, have watched, I was wrong about Twilight Masquerade. Okay, I was wrong about this card in particular. I had the chance uh, at a local store to buy this card for forty bucks. Maybe it was forty-five at the time, and I said, oh, "I'll wait till it comes down." And I and I didn't grab it. Look where we're at now. Now I always liked this card. I think the Greninja I wanted, and the the Eevee, and then the uh, the Growlithe, the picture card um, with the parent. Those were the cards that I kind of really wanted from this set. Kind of the only ones at the time. But I thought that this card was going to be cheap. I thought that this card was going to be uh, 20, uh, 20, maybe sub 20 a little bit. Um, but pull rates obviously are affecting this and just the popularity of the set, both. I think it's it's a combination of um, of those two things. But I, I always like the artwork. I, it's an amazing art and great Pokemon, right? But how this relates to Stellar Crown, you can see like what's going on right now. We're at like 70 bucks uh, market price and the median price is 82. So expect this to continue to rise, which is honestly insane for this card. This is just an IR. Um, I, not that we haven't seen other IRs pop off, but so 80 bucks, right? Uh, 70 to 80. And when we look on eBay, we'll just take a gander while we're here. Um, sometimes I like to verify other sales, like just to make sure it's not just like a TCG only thing um but we got so you can see the sales here um some of these are crossed out some of these are a little bit lower um 65 65 80 so um they are in that range for sure but something else that is absolutely blows my mind too is check this out these are psa 10 sales uh of this eevee card last was 310 but before that we had a 370 buy it now 325 300 317 300 like 300s to like high 300s like i don't know if this card keeps rising this could crack 400 and a 10 which is insane so uh the reason how this connects now we're gonna i'm getting there so just be patient i do apologize uh we touched on this before and some of you guys were sharp enough to uh i was gonna make a video about it later but some of you guys were sharp enough to uh pick up on this in the comments so it relates to these cards from Stellar Crown. We have the Squirtle. Now, I think that, and I could be wrong, but I feel like this Squirtle and the Bulbasaur, which we'll show in a second, are in the same vein of the Eevee. Now, depending on how hard it is to pull this IR, this could be at that level, if not exceeding the Eevee. Like, I see if the Eevee can do that. I see a world where the Squirtle and the Bulbasaur can exceed that. I think we have to look at it at that at this point with what has been happening. We have to consider that that's a possibility. So if the EV is creeping up to 80, that means that this Squirtle could very well be at that level, if not higher, if not a hundred dollar card, hundred plus. It is entirely possible. So we have to keep that in mind. Now. This also ties into something that we've talked about on the channel before, but we'll take a quick look at the Bulbasaur. I can't actually find the English rendering of this, but this is the card we're getting, right? We've seen it in Japanese before, but same thing. So they go together because they have all the Pidgeys, right? And they're super adorable. I picture in my mind, I like the Squirtle card better because I like what's going on, but the Bulbasaur sunning is absolutely, so same thing this card could be 80 plus easily easily because of what's going on the market what you guys need to understand is that the current market is crazy like 
my thought process behind Twilight when it came out was like sound based on what had traditionally happened in the past. And we should have seen these cards um, tank down. That's just what's happened. But this also ties into another card. I'm sure you guys know exactly where I'm going, but if you don't, um, it ties into this card right here. You can pick this card up right now, uh, this Charmander card. Now, this was the promo from the Obsidian Flames uh, ETB, but in Japanese, you know, they all came out together. So, same thing, you have the Charm... I love this card, by the way. I wish this would not have been a promo, but they should have put this in the set. But the Charmander with the Pidgeys, so it's the same thing. And he's he looks, like, angry. He's got his forehead pressed against the window trying to get the Pidgeys. So, these all of these cards can be together as a set and even this card okay so this five dollar card in a psa 10 like look at what it's been selling for like so we have the i don't know if this is okay so this is the pokemon center exclusive the stamped one for 320 but 130 dollars for a five dollar card so what i'm thinking it would be a good play is to maybe get some of these to potentially grade. And if you can pair them, um, we talked about sequentially graded uh, PSA cards in the past. If you're not a fan, that's totally fine. I don't purchase them either. But if you're looking to possibly make some money, and could you imagine if this is at the EV, the EV card price? So you get the Squirtle, you get the Bulbasaur, and you get the Charmander right here. All of these cards, in sequentially graded PSA 10s, if they're around that EV price and they're demanding a premium, you could be looking at a thousand plus for three. This is just, and if you guys are kind of shaking your heads at that, at those numbers, I'm with you, but it is entirely, entirely possible. I just want to, like, this is kind of, it's kind of crazy, but it's kind of like exciting times with what's going on with some of these like grading plays and some of these singles it's it's it sucks for like the average collector like i because some of these prices are just they're too high i think sometimes but you know if you're going to be making plays it really is uh it really is a crazy time so especially if you can be early if you can be early to get some of the first graded squirtle bulbasaur and charmander if you can pull that off there's potentially some some big money to be made. Also, uh, something that could be potentially interesting is because this set that set is not out yet. Uh, but the price of this, even just this card, uh, or or graded, the price of this card could go up quite a bit. Obviously, we saw lower prices here, like eighty bucks for the regular in a ten. So we have seen it fluctuate down, but like eighty four. So people could be buying this already in a 10 getting ready to have the full set so there's a lot going on uh with this and i just wanted to um kind of talk to you guys about uh potential play something that i'm looking into and i think that you guys should look into uh, whether you're investing flipping or just collecting i think it's important to uh, try and get ahead of these possible plays in the market and i think that it is very reasonable and smart to use the most recent example of twilight with a very similar card if the pull rates are similar in any way shape or form that we could expect some crazy numbers from these cards and it's good to know that ahead of time however it is entirely possible that the pull rates are different it, it depends it, it really can depend and these cards won't have that value but let's say if the eevee hits 80 and then those cards are like still $40 cards still quite a potentially good grading play um, it's just going to bring those prices down but just still potentially insane like that these cards can be doing this like right out the gate like this and we just we just don't know it's kind of like a, it's like a feeding frenzy with these new sets especially if they get the right hype uh, which for me personally I think that the starters could demand more hype than Eevee but uh, EV is very loved and I you know so just keep that in mind um but that is going to do it for this one guys I just wanted to to talk about this potentially crazy play uh you know if you guys are going to be 
looking to pick up these cards, if you're going to look to like do the grading play, let me know in the comments below. Also, if you're this far in the video, obviously you enjoyed the content, so you might as well subscribe, hit the thumbs up while you're there, and like leave me a comment, let me know what you think. Uh, I do, if you're new, I try to do daily videos, uh, Pokemon investing, market, collecting, everything. And I've been pretty consistent about doing one video per day. Not always a long form content, sometimes it's a short, uh, sometimes it's two, I do a long form and a short in the same day. Also, uh, if you're interested, I made a Discord group. Uh, we've been posting up some deals, people have been joining. If you have, if you want to just like have a direct link to, to chat, uh, I'm, I'm in there. It's, I get the notifications on my phone so we can uh, talk about, share your deals. Um, talk about plays, anything that you guys want to talk. Uh, I think there was some buy selling, buy sell trade stuff that happened with some PSA 10s. Um, yeah, yesterday. Um, but anyways, I think a Gengar alt art got sold. So anyways, um, interesting stuff there. So yeah, join that if you're interested and that's gonna do it for this one, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. And remember it was never a phase.